Hi there, I'm Jonathan Mouton on season 21 of NBC's The Voice. I am currently on Team Blake after being stolen by him and the battles was previously on Team Legend. My mom's favorite show, um, favorite vocal composition is voice. And by default, mine is as well. I've been supporting and, and watching since season one. Um, I like the, the fact that, you know, as an artist, you get on, you know, I grew up, I'm an idol baby. So I grew up, I was 10, 10 years old when Kelly Clarkson won um, in 2002 or one. Um, and uh, I like the fact as an artist myself and as a vocalist that the aesthetic is taken away you get on that stage, and from the coaching standpoint, all they can hear is your instrument. I grew up on old school talent, so talent is not, that's not to say that there isn't some amazing talent, but um, you know, the fact that the show also celebrates multiple genres and multiple types of singers is also really dope, as we say, you know, so. Nothing, anything you'd like to say to your coach? It's not lost on me singing a Luther song to someone who has inspired me since I was in middle school, like. You have the magnitude of this moment, being here on this stage, it's a bucket list, so thank You're you. You're amazing. Thank God. you, thank you, thank you. Hey. What? Yeah. That is a steal from Blake Shelton! They had such an incredible performance. I was gonna use my steal on either one of those guys, to be honest with you. Jonathan's voice is unbelievable. He's just a very... I am a fan of, of music. I'm a fan of Blake. I respect, he's the king of the voice of mine, you know, it, bar none. I mean, he, he has won the show that many times. He has his strategy. He's an iconic musician in his own right. Um, so I, I gotta be honest, you know, everyone asks, a lot of people ask me, what does that feel like, you know, um, after you're singing? Do you, you know, you, you see the, the final product and you see Blake looking and you see all those moments are very true and they happen. But in the moment I'm, I'm doing, I'm, I'm doing what I came to do. I'm performing this song. I'm, you know, ministering from the heart, as they say in church. And so for me, um, seeing his reaction, seeing how into the performance he was, but then I had a thought, I said, you know what? Blake has, at this point at battles, Blake has not seen me perform. He's heard me, but he hasn't seen me. So I think it, it just having his respect, having his admiration, and then having him use his steel. And I know Blake is stingy with that steel. He uses it very wisely and strategically. Um, man, it meant it was just like my face, everything that happened in that moment. That's one thing I got to give the voice for me. Everything that happened was so organic and genuine. I was like, what the heck is going on? Also, I didn't know there was any stills available, which many times we don't know because of when it's shot in sequence, you know, they, from a, from a fairness standpoint, they're not telling you, oh, there's a steal. So I'm up there not performing for a steal or not performing for a save. I'm performing for my life and this opportunity. Um, so yeah, man, it was just, it was, I can't even describe it. For me, artistry is, it fundamentally is, it's based on collaboration. It's based on inspiration and growth. So, um, and I think that's why Paris and my battle is being received as, as well as it has. And it's so humbling for me because we really did approach this. I mean, we would joke. We would literally joke in, in rehearsals together. We're like, bro, if Nas and Jay-Z were gonna hop on a track together, as great as Jay-Z is, as accomplished as Nas is, you know, I do believe Kanye and Jay back in the day, I do believe that it would be, of course I wanna, that, that you know, that, that um, co competitive spar, but it's gonna be their fans of music and their fans of each other's craft. So we really did approach this battle performance, rehearsal. I mean, we, we almost approached it as method actors, we, which became genuine, our friendship and our, our connection. We sp spent time together outside of rehearsals. There were times after tech, you know, after, you know, like dresser where we, we said, okay, we just had a major dress rehearsal. Yes, the intent is to go back and work, 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 work. We're just gonna go and grab a bite to eat downstairs. Um, because it's about that camaraderie. It's about that synergy um, that you can't fake on stage. So yeah, it was, it was so dynamic to have Paris and I sing uh, Here and Now, which is a love song, but we approach this from our own shared experiences coming together and like talking to each other as family, like, this is what happens for me. This is my passion. And kind of 
blending on the shared experience together and John being a male and being like one of the most iconic soul singers, but then having Camila's kind of female energy and her heart and soul and, and, and really just coach us from the standpoint of what, how we made her feel as both an artist and as a, as a, as a lover of music. Um, yeah, it just, it was, it was really dynamic to have that and to be, to feel like, you know, we're, we're family. Um, yeah, man, it just, I, I can't, I don't ever think, and I told Paris this, I don't ever think that I will have a situation, I, I, I can only hope that I have a, that I can approach a collaboration with another artist in the future of my career. Once my journey ends on The Voice, whenever that is, I hope that I can approach it from um, the collaborative, you know, musicality that we did. One of the things that Blake, and which is it's so cool, I mean, it was such a humbling moment after the end of my battle when he said, you know, uh, you're come, come on home, you know, come on. Home. It was like, wow, this is like such a full circle moment. Um, Blake is definitely being the king of the voice. He's into strategy, but he's also into just groundedness. You know, one of the things that like, that's really cool about Blake and even with his persona, but even in his artistry is just being grounded and planted in the artistry and in the music and allowing yourself to be the vessel and just allowing yourself to feel um, you know, with country music being so organic and, and, and having such organic energy, he has really um, impressed upon me that it's really important to connect in a way where I'm personally invested mm -hmm. and allowing my vessel. And, and, you know, muscle memory is there. We can rehearse until we're blue in the face. But to just remember that um, you want to give your all to a performance and, and really take something away for yourself personally.